These are the same shots. One is untouched, the other completely reshot by AI. I didn't hire a crowd, rent a stadium, or touch a 3D model. Runway's new AI model, Aleph, lets you change your footage after it's already been filmed or even after it's been generated in another AI tool. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it to create brand new camera angles, add or remove massive scene elements, and finish the shot inside Premiere Pro so it's ready for delivery. Let's get straight into it. So here's a simple five second clip that I have in my Premiere Pro timeline. Since I'm gonna be finalizing my edit in Premiere, I'll set up my project here to start. This is typically how Runway fits into my post-production workflow. Now head to runwayml.com and click Get Started. By default, Aleph is gonna open. First up, let's see how Aleph can generate extra shots or coverage for a scene, the kind you might've missed on shoot day and can't afford to go back for. In Aleph, I'll upload my footage and add a prompt like close up from back of head, slow orbit to side profile, match original lighting, style, grade, palette, subject, 85 millimeter lens, cinematic realism. And in seconds, it's reframed and reimagined, like I had a second camera rolling on the day of the shoot. The composition changes, but the original scene and lighting stay consistent. Now I'll link a custom GPT in the description that generates Aleph prompts for you, so you don't have to be a prompt engineer to get good results. It just makes everything so much simpler. Now, this next one is where Aleph gets really wild. Normally adding a realistic crowd to an empty stadium means weeks of CGI or a huge production budget. But watch what we can do with a simple intentional prompt like task, fill seats, add cheering, fans, key player, framing, lighting. In Runway Aleph, start with task colon for the main goal, then add colon for new elements, keep colon for what stays, and restyle colon for the look. For this crowd replacement, we wrote one line of text and we go from a boring empty stadium to a stadium packed with life in just seconds. Now, before we move on to my favorite new Aleph feature, if you use Premiere Pro daily like me, then check this out. You ever hit that point in an edit where you're digging through folders and your soul just kind of leaves your body? Brevity fixes that. Everything's built in, stock video, GIFs, audio animations, all inside Premiere Pro. No detours, no distractions, just pure flow. Visit brevity.pro because editing feels fun again. All right, finally, my favorite use case for Aleph, full scene manipulation. Let's try a street scene. So let's upload this original video and let's prompt it with task, colon, replace the parked car with a food cart, keep lighting and shadows natural. In Runway Aleph, starting your prompt with task tells the model exactly what main action to focus on before any extra details. It keeps your instructions clear, structured, and easier for Aleph to follow, especially when combining actions like add, keep, or even restock. And now we should get exactly what we asked for. We could also prompt it to remove the cart completely. Aleph also handles object removal and replacement as easily as adding them without masks, rotoscoping, or hours of cleanup. Now, what's really cool is the way we can upload a lighting reference image and have Aleph relight an entire video to match that exact style. It's basically Photoshop level control for video from relighting to full scene manipulation, but at lightning speed. Now, once you've got your Aleph clip, export it and bring it back into Premiere Pro or After Effects. A quick color match blends it with your other shots. Add sound design, tweak the grade, and it's ready for delivery. The AI handles the visuals, but it's still your editing that makes it feel cinematic. Right now, Aleph clips are short, about five seconds long. There's no sound, and some results may need a few prompt tries. But this is the first real world step towards true AI reshoots, and it's already changing post-production workflows. Whether it's filling a stadium, changing the time of day, or getting a shot you missed, Aleph gives editors and creators more control than ever before. If you want me to push Aleph to its limits and find the most cinematic use cases possible, hit subscribe and drop a comment. Is this the future or is this a problem? Let me know what side you're on. Peace.